Uh, in a recent conversation with a decorated war hero of our country, he gave me food for thought, which I thought I'll share with you tonight. He told me, Mahesh, if there's an actor and a hard worker, tell me who will get the most recognition. The answer is obvious, isn't it? It's always the actor. This war hero then told me to apply that very lesson to the current situation in Sri Lanka. The hard workers of our society are now cornered by an army of buffoons led by many actors. Last year, those actors were masquerading as freedom fighters, misleading another set of jokers whose life story is being fooled. And today, they are meek, no sound from them, no heroic action like they used to show back then. After all, we did have a leader who didn't have the spine to act in that instance. Now, it does not seem to be the case. The truth of last year's so-called JVP-led protest is coming to light. We know how the United States, led by its current ambassador, Julie Chong, played the exact roles of protagonist and antagonist in the same breath to, set, uh, to get Sri Lanka to the point that benefits her nation using the economic crisis as a launch pad. We saw many movie actors, cricketers, artists and whatnot coming to gain more popularity through the economic struggle we were experiencing. In some instances, a famous cricketer who milked so much money playing for this nation, living in a luxurious apartment in Colombo, asked the diaspora to donate more dollars to this country in order for us to come out of the crisis that we were in, whereas his own wealth in millions and millions of dollars were parked outside in foreign bank accounts without moving a cent to bring into this country to uplift from the misery that you and I were in. The United States is now courting us to get the upper hand as Sri Lanka is strategically important to them. To get their way, the US is openly walking all over our sovereignty, but calling it helping us or guiding us. Imagine if we did the same to the US, talking about how Joe Biden has failed as a leader. What kind of violations and human rights abuses the US military has done? The abuse of uh, African American or other racial communities at the hand of white America. How inequality has led to a very sorry state of affairs there. And how the US is the biggest warmonger in the world. And how the US continues to break countries to have a better life for them at the expense of people's lives. Just look at what they did in the Middle East. If we did that, if we say all that, if we stood up to the bully, you would see what they would do to us. How far they will go to protect their sovereignty. Sadly, it seems we don't have a choice. Or do we? Sri Lanka needs a brave leader with a proper spine. And it's time that we found one. If we can't find one, we must mold one that will care for the interest of Sri Lanka. We'll be right back.